All right, so Dustin Poirier in the co-main event of UFC 299 will take on Benoit St. Denis in a five-rounder. And this is going to be a war. Like, there's just, there's no other way. Both these guys love to scrap. It's going to be a great fight. So, who do I think is going to win this scrap? I'm actually going to go with Benoit St. Denis. I don't, I don't, I'm not very confident this guy's going to be champion, but I really like him in this matchup because... Dustin Poirier, he hates body kicks, and uh, Benoit St. Denis has some very good, very hard body kicks. And we saw against Oliveira, if you start going to the body in Poirier, even though he has some of the best cardio in the UFC, it, nobody can take a lot of body shots and not slow down. So I like that about, about Benoit St. Denis. I also like his, his grappling. He's such a good grappler. And the, dude, just seeing him sweep Frivola was just wild. Frivola is a very good wrestler, and just see him get swept like that, absolute bonkers. And then he obviously destroyed Moises, who is a solid grappler himself, and who put up a good fight against Makachev. Let's not forget that. And Poirier, um, not that long ago, was getting uh, absolute thrown around by Michael Chandler. And if it wasn't for Chandler um, trying to be overzealous and go for a highlight takedown. His, he never would have took um, Chandler's back and submitted him. So, and we've seen Charles Oliveira out grapple uh, Dustin Poirier. You know, obviously Khabib. So th there's a hole there, and I think Benoit Saint Denis is gonna exploit it. He's gonna start with the body kicks. He's gonna knee him in the, in the to the body in the clinch, slow down Poirier, and then as the fight goes on, he'll start shooting the takedowns and really grinding on Poirier. Pause, and um, beating him up there, laying some good ground and pound. And ultimately, I think in the fourth round, he's going to submit Dustin Poirier by a rear naked choke, you know? It's just Dustin's kryptonite, you know? Um, Benoit St. Denis, he's just, he's improving rapidly fast. He's very new to MMA, and he's already this good. And I just, it's such a good style matchup for him. He really is a style uh, nightmare for Dustin Poirier. And I think he's going to submit him in the fourth round. Now, how can Dustin win this fight? He's got to go to the body himself. Um... You really got to slow down this guy who's never been in a five-round fight, so that should be interesting. I am a little worried about th worried about that Benoit Saint Denis, but um, I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him and hope that uh, he doesn't have a secret, uh, secretly bad gas tank. Um, so yeah, he needs to go to the body and he needs to stuff takedowns. And if he does that, he'll have a great chance. Benoit Saint Denis does not have the best guard. Um, he doesn't have his hands high, so he can land his his hooks, his uppercut. And he, he needs to get scrappy in the clinch. He can't let Benoit St. Denis just, you know, knee him uh, to the body in clinch. He needs to throw his hooks in the clinch, get his shots in there. And he needs to be careful when he breaks off from the clinch. Because we saw against Benoit St. Denis, he can just throw a head kick breaking off the clinch and KO you like he did against Frivola. So, yeah, very dangerous fight for Dustin Poirier. And it's also a little dangerous for Benoit St. Denis. But I believe in this guy. Not as much as Lucas Tracy does. But, um, you know, um, maybe I'll get there eventually. So uh, yeah, ultimately I'm gonna go with a uh, Benoit Saint Denis uh, fourth round submission against Dustin the Diamond Poirier, and I think this will be a changing of the guard in the lightweight division, finally. But hey, I'm just a kid, and this is my opinion.